हेलो हेलो Hello and welcome to the live and exclusive coverage of the game between St. Joseph Convent School and DSBDC case. For all those who don't know, this is a game which is being organized by the Reliance Foundation. And we are live from the Maharana Pratap Sports College. The two teams today, St. Joseph will be seen in blue jersey as they are the home team, whereas DSB Rishikesh will be in brown. As the players are getting the instructions, the final instructions from the coach before we see both the sides entering the field of play as we near kickoff. Let's go through the starting 11s of both the sides with St. Joseph first, Ashwin. Number 11, Arman. Number 14, Raja. 5, Vidhan. They will be spearheaded by the number 10, Tanishk. Number 12, Sathak. Anirudh will be, a, will be the major catalyst in the middle of the park. Whereas the defenders would be Ashutosh, Rishi, Ishant and Gaurav. With Rishi, jersey number 1, being the goalkeeper of the team. And Ashutosh being the captain. Whereas the starting 11 for DSB Rishikesh is... Number 16, Saksham, Om, Akshar, Manan, Aryan, Himanshu, who will be leading the line along with Rohan, Rajiv, Rishabh, Sehaj, and Udit. It looks like this one will be a close encounter between two very close sides. There is not much to differentiate between both the teams. Although we all will expect plenty of goals. Because goals is what brings fun to the game. As DSB Rishikesh enter the field. And we are just seconds away from kickoff. Just a slight delay. And with the blow of the referee's whistle, DSB Rishikesh kick off proceedings. Trying to keep possession of the ball in the early stages. Where St. Joseph are looking to press high up the field. And the first throw-in for of the game. 
in favor of St. Joseph. That will be a goal kick for DSB Rishikesh. As it was Tanish who ran forward with the ball that time. But he was bundled over by a couple of... Rather he was crowded out by a couple of DSB Rishikesh players. Now that's quite unusual for the start of a game the goalkeeper not taking the goal kick and the defender taking the goal kick as both teams fighting hard for for the possession of the ball possession won by Ashwin in the middle of the park Ashwin to Anirudh who gives it straight back to a DSP Rishikesh player that's quite a high press from St. Joseph It has been quite a scrappy start this. Both the teams pretty much being afraid of keeping the ball at their feet. Just kicking the ball away as soon as it gets to them. Once again both the teams trying to fight out. That's a throw in in favor of TSB Rishikesh. Pass out through the center and the player fails to control it, tries to win it back, gets it back as well, turns his marker around, there's an option on the left and that's a foul. That was a foul committed by Vidhan. That was some silky play from the Rishikesh player. DSB Dehradun or rather DSB Rishikesh have a good chance here and rather than maintaining a high line of defense and Joseph they're guarding the goal there as the free kick comes in header comes in as well and just tipped over although that was not a strong fist by the keeper Rishi should have done better there and just as I say this there's a chance on the counter for St. Joseph, but they have been crowded out by DSB Rishikesh's players. St. Joseph once again in possession of the ball, trying to find the man on the right, but in, well intercepted by the DSB man. Once again, under no pressure, he clears the ball away. Sathak who won the ball on that occasion was not particularly happy with the referee's decision of blowing the whistle against him but that was a foul another long ball coming in from TSB Rishikesh finds no one and that's a throw in for St. Joseph Convent For all of our live viewers, it would be very kind of you if you could like and subscribe our, cha our channel and also share with your friends and family members. That's a fine piece of skill by the DSB Rishikesh player. Fine through ball player as well. But the forward just unable to keep it in play. As that's a goal kick for St. Joseph.
And once again, it's not the goalkeeper, but the defender who is taking the goal kicks. This is quite surprising. Because most of the time what happens is, if the goalkeeper is not taking the free kick or the goal kick, it's because of some injury or something else. But right now, both the keepers, right from the start of the game, are not taking the goal kicks, which is surprising to see. As it's a throw in for DSB Rishkesh. It has been a scrappy start to the game. And it has not been an open game so far. Both the teams do not want to give an inch to the opposition. That's well kept in play by the left back who is running forward with the ball. Goes past two, goes past three as well. That's a fine through ball. Oh, just overhead. And easily collected by the St. Joseph keeper. That was some silky play from the left back. Oh, why is he playing left back? He should be playing left wing. We need to see him more often there. That's well won back in the middle of the field by St. Joseph. But given away cheaply once again. And that will be a throw in again for TSP Rishikesh. And the left back who just went past three players there will take the throw in this time. That's one back in the middle of the park by Rishikesh. And that's a foul committed on the Rishikesh player by Vidhan. Probably the second foul he has committed in the game. And this time there is no telling off from the referee. He does get a yellow card there with Han. Because if you keep on making a challenge after a challenge, another challenge after a challenge, this is what's going to happen. And that is some good refereeing by the referee. The referee calling for the stretcher, but the player getting up in time. Once again, free kick in a dangerous position. Let's see what's the kind of line that St. Joseph maintain here. Because last time, they didn't have any defensive line. They were defending the goal. All of them were defending the goal. This time, it looks like they do have a defensive line. And so, what... DHB Rishikesh would need to do is play the ball in between the keeper and the defenders. Any touch there and it will be a goal. That's a three-man wall. Don't really think it's required from there but as the free kick comes in, that's a decent delivery in the box as well. Not cleared properly and that would be a goal kick. Nine minutes into the game and not much has happened so far. We have had a seeded start to the game. But that's football for you. You never know when a goal might go in and what can happen in the game. As we saw in the game between... Portugal yesterday. It was all quiet till 60 minutes and in the next half an hour the game ended at 3-2. As Rishikesh come forward with the ball once again. That's a fine pass on the right wing as well. Just not able to control it the Rishikesh player. That was a fine through ball. As once again, it will be the St. Joseph defender taking the goal kick and not the keeper. I think I'll have to get accustomed to defenders taking goal kicks. As we see another throw in in favor of St. Joseph. It's a cheap giveaway and it's DSB Rishikesh running forward on the left wing. Goes past one. Chance of a cross. That's a fine cross as well. And the defender could not clear it properly. Once again, DSB this time with attack to the right. A cut back, a shot and just wide of the goal. That was ever so close for DSB Rishikesh. A couple of yards inside and that would have been 1-0. 
fine piece of skill there on the right wing to go past his marker. Cut back as well and there was no way the goalkeeper would have saved that one. Rishikesh winning possession once again in the middle of the park. Once again, the referee blows his whistle in favor of Rishikesh. Just 11 minutes into the game and St. Joseph have committed a number of fouls already. With Vidhan already going into the referee's book. It has been some good refereeing the initial few minutes. That's a fine delivery in the box, but cleared away by St. Joseph. The referee just stopping play so that the ball can be kicked from the position the foul was given. Another long kick by St. Joseph. Well controlled by the striker. But cleared away by the DSB defense. It's Raja who has been penalized for a high boot there. That's some poor goalkeeping, man. You need to be catching those rather than kicking those away for a corner. What if St. Joseph just scored a goal out of the next corner? That is a regulation catch for the keeper. He really needs to be collecting that one. And St. Joseph needs to be making good use of these opportunities as the corner comes in from Ashwin. Decent delivery in the box and cleared away. Still not cleared away properly. The goalkeeper punching his hands in there. Another shot coming in as well, but blocked by the DSB defense. That would be a throw in in favor of St. Joseph. That would be a goal kick for DSB Rishikesh. After having started the game on a brighter note, DSB Rishikesh are now being dominated. And as I said just before the game started, now there is very little to separate the two sides. That's cleared away by the DSB defender. St. Joseph still in possession of the ball. No, once again, one back. That's a fine pass in the middle of the park. But the attacker fails to control it. Gets it back. And that's a fine piece of skill there. Did the Rowley turn there, but failed to keep possession of the ball. St. Joseph comes to the right. Pass out on the left wing. That's a poor pass. You need to play the pass in front of the man and not behind him. That's well kept in play by DSB as they string together a couple of passes through the right hand side, switch to the center of the park. There is an option out there on the left. He tries to pick him as well. 
but the pass is slightly overhit and straight into the rightful arms of the St. Joseph goalkeeper who kicks it long, fails to get much distance on it and DSB can come straight back at St. Joseph but no, this time St. Joseph win the ball in the middle of the park player forward pass as well it's Sathak on the ball, fighting for the ball then it was Tanishk both unable to get possession of the ball and it's DSB once again just clear the ball when there is no pressure on them need to keep hold of the ball if you are to win the game that's another poor pass that's nicely controlled by the defender turns his marker passes it at will now a chance here for St. Joseph but the player is offside and that time he was not offside by just a couple of millimeters he was quite a couple of yards offside and another correct decision by the assistant referee this time as DSB Rishikesh kick it long once again rather punt it up in there to the other side of the field as if it's a strategy just kick it long and win, win all the second balls and we take it from there TSB player crowded by crowded out by three St. Joseph players. Tries the outside of the boot pass, but well intercepted by the TSB defender. Now chance for DSB on the counter this time. Attacking through the right. Chance of a cross. Cuts it back. Goes past his man. But unable to find his partner there. And that's intercepted by the St. Joseph defense. Once again, DSB come forward with the ball and just when it matters, they lose possession of the ball. But once again, they win it back. This is where DSB have been so good. They have won all the second balls in, second ball in the middle of the park. As that's a rare chance on the counter for St. Joseph. Option there on the right. He goes for the shot himself. That takes a deflection and looks like it will be a corner. There were two options on his right there. If he could have got his eye up and looked at them rather than shooting from such an acute angle. And these are the games where these young boys will learn so much because these are competitive games. As the corner comes in, the keeper makes a mess of it but that's again well defended by DSB Rishikesh but St. Joseph have possession of the ball once again that's a fine cross as well but well once again that's nicely cleared away by the defense both teams vying for the ball in the center of the park that's a poor pass Missed clearance, but there is no one there. As it's Sarthak running forward with the ball, gets it back as well. Tries to play a one-two, but fails in doing so. Smart play from the keeper. Let's uh, attack a run to him and then picks up the ball and punches it long. Keeper is not getting the required distance there on his. Goal kicks. That's a shove in the back. The player apologizing to the referee. But if he does it once more, the referee will not just give a talking to, he will book him for that. There's no need of doing all these stuff. Just play fair. It's Gaurav who will take the free kick. He underhits the pass there. Once again, 
That's a fine pass, but the attacker fails to control the ball there. Once again, DSB win the ball in the final third. Attacking through the left. One man in the box, but he cannot find him as he is crowded out by the St. Joseph defender. And the corner for DSB Rishikesh, probably the first of the game. St. Joseph, on the other hand, have had a couple of corners. That's the first of the game for DSB Rishikesh. Can they make one count here? It's a short corner. Looks like a training ground move. Chance of a shot as well there. But that's cleared away by the St. Joseph defense. Chance on the counter there. That was some good pace shown there by Ashwin. But just could not get past the DSP defender. As the assistant referee blows his whistle in favor of St. Joseph, who have a free kick in their own defensive half. Defender urging his players to move forward. And he does get some additional there. Quick throw-in taken by the DSB player. That will be another throw-in. That was well intercepted by Arun. Long throw coming in this time. Flick on header as well. But all it does is find a St. Joseph player. It has been some good defending from St. Joseph so far. Although they have been under some real pressure by DSB Rishikesh, they have guarded the goal nicely so far. Once again, give the ball in the middle of the park. DSB running forward with the ball but cannot get past his man. Another scuff clearance. DSB dominating things in the middle of the park. As the referee gets in the way of the attacker there, but there is not much the referee can do about it. That's a throw in for DSP. Goes back to his midfielder. That's a cross in the box. Fine cross as well. Picks his man up as well, but that's a poor header. Although he was crowded out by two St. Joseph players, but you will expect the attacker to do better there. At least keep the header on target. Decent distance on the ball this time from the goal kick. That's well kept in play by the DSP player. One back in the middle of the park by St. Joseph, who give it straight back to DSP as they come once again on the ball through the center. No option on the left, a couple of options on the right, goes past his marker, but eventually he ran out of options there. Player is looking for an offside, but that's well done by the DSB player who keeps the ball in play. Crosses it in the box as well, but that's cleared away by the St. Joseph player. Oh, if the weight of the pass was correct, then that's a chance. That's a free chance. And that's 
Did I flee? Blows his whistle from offside there. I think the player, from my angle, the player seemed to be inside his own half and he cannot be offside from inside his own half. Having been so good, the referees for the initial 25 minutes, I think they have made a mistake here. But well, mistakes are part and parcel of everyone's life and there's not much anyone can do about it. The left back once again does brilliantly to go past his marker but fails to pick out his teammate in front of goal. Goalkeeper comes out and collects the ball. That was a fine team move by DSB Rishikesh, but there's no one at the end of it. You need that quality in the final third. DSB Rishikesh have shown that quality in the middle of the park and while defending, but they have no one in the forward line. You need that quality in front of goal if you are to win games. As St. Joseph tried to build an attack from the left but intercepted by the DSB defense. This has been the difference between both the sides. While DSB have tried to attack through the center, St. Joseph have used the wings to good effect. Once again, St. Joseph on the ball, but give it straight back to DSB. And the center back is running forward with the ball. Picks out a player on the left, who is cutting inside, goes past his marker, gets it back from his teammate as well. Once again, as I'm saying, they are building some really good team moves here. But you need that quality in the final third. That is what has been lacking so far. Sarthak on the ball, but fails to find his teammate there. And once again, well done by the DSP defender. Was under pressure from a couple of St. Joseph players, but he did really well. Get out of the pressure and find his mark, find his teammate. Cross coming in the box. And Joseph finally tra trying to play out from the back and there's the high press from DSB yielding fruits as they get a throw in as a result of the high press a cross in the box header as well but not in the direction the DSB attacker would have wanted that's a goal kick for St. Joseph Convent One back in the middle of the park by DSP. Try to run forward with the ball, but eventually giving the position away in the final third, only to win it back in the. That's a shot coming in. That's the goal. That's the first goal of the game. Took a wicked deflection there, and there was very little the St. Joseph keeper could have done about that one. That's the first goal of the game. And it's DSB Rishikesh once and Joseph nil. And it has been coming. DSB have dominated the initial 30 minutes so far. And it has been a well deserved goal. As we see the replay of the goal, went past his marker, took a brilliant shot there, took a deflection on the way through. But that was a fine, fine effort. As the referee blows his whistle, 
start of the game once again. And now we see the mentality of St. Joseph going 1-0 down. As DSB attacked through the right once again. Four people in the box. Can he find anyone? No, that's well cleared away by the St. Joseph defender. The DSB players outnumbered the St. Joseph players on that occasion. As there were four attackers, four DSB attackers in the box against two St. Joseph defenders. As the referee blows his whistle for a foul. That will be a free kick for DSB. That's well kept in play. Oh, just as I said it, he failed to keep it in. Did Sarthak chase the ball all the way but just failed to control it. Both the players trying their best to get possession of the ball and DSB eventually committing a foul in the process. That will be a free kick for Joseph. Long free kick coming in. But that's aimed towards no one. Once again, the DSB left back who has been ever so good did so well. He was pressurized by a couple of Joseph players, but did really well to get out of that situation. Then Joseph on the ball this time. Cuts inside, cuts back, finds his left back, who plays a lock pass through the center. Miscued clearance, giving the ball straight back to St. Joseph. That was a fine tackle by the left back. But that was not a fine cross by St. Joseph. Aimlessly hit into the box and goes out of play. If St. Joseph are to get back in the game, they will need more quality than that. That's a fine piece of skill. As he's running forward with the ball, finds his right winger as well. One man in the box, a couple of men in the box, but the, the cross is straight towards the goalkeeper, who does well to intercept it. And gives it straight back to a DSP player. That's well cleared away by the DSB defender. That's really nicely done there by Tanishk. The same could not be done by Raja. Lost possession of the ball. That's once again a fine piece of skill in the middle of the park by the DSB player. As he's running forward with the ball, tries to find his man on the left with the option. But the better option would have been to look for his man on the right, who was all, all alone there in front of goal. Cross coming in. That's a fine cross as well. But that's offside given by the assistant referee. That one was close. Millimeters in that, I guess. If only he could have bent his run. That could have been 2 nil DSB. St. Joseph win the ball in the middle of the park. And the referee blows in favour of them as well. A long free kick coming in. That's straight in the arms of the keeper who makes a complete mess of it. 
all the 10 players, all the 10 DSB players apart from the goalkeeper have been top notch today. But the goalkeeper has put his team under considerable amount of pressure on more than a couple of occasions. These are regulation catches which you need to be taking. Cannot be making a mess out of the out of these because sooner or later it will cost you the game. That's nicely done by the Joseph player. Takes a shot as well, but this time straight into the right full arms of the keeper. Who makes no mistake this time. Almost made a mistake there. In doing too much. There's no need for all these. Just pick pick up the ball. Once again, one back in the middle of the park by DSB. Find their man on the right. DSB look like a well drilled unit here. They are playing as a team as opposed to individuals. As the referee blows in favor of DSB for a throw in. They throw in in a dangerous position. Let's see if they go short or long this time. Short throw coming in for DSB as the referee goes for a foul. A foul in a throw in. Joseph trying to create an attack through the left, but DSB are just way too good, way too adept at these. That's a quick couple of turns by the DSB player. What piece of skill that was from the youngster. PSB attacker going back to his defender. As DSB are trying to keep hold of the ball. But they lose it this time. But eventually winning it back. That's a fine pass. But the Joseph defender did very, very well to keep the attacker at bay. Although they did give away a corner there. Corner taken quickly. Cross coming in as well. That's a free volley and you need to be scoring those. You cannot be blazing shots over the bar from such close distances. That's a free chance with no defender marking you. Just have to be scoring those. Could have just put his laces through it. Just needed the right connection. But these are the times that these youngsters will learn and we should not really be harsh on them. Because this is their time to learn. Probably a couple of years down the line, all of these will go back into the back of the net. As St. Joseph come forward with the ball. Goes past his man. Finds his man in the middle. Finds his man on the right. Number 9. Does a fine piece of skill. Finds his play on the left. Just blocked away by the DSP defense. But that was the first real move of the game from St. Joseph. Who have been so quiet in the attacking third so far but that was some dangerous play DSB come forward with the ball once again but that's that's a tame clearance from the SCS defender Hitting his own man. 
And that's once again well cleared by the DSB defender. He was in a good position there, Tanishk, but could do very little. Tanishk on the ball once again, goes past his marker, finds number 9 on the ball, fails to do anything of substance with the ball. That's a sky clearance. And that's a corner. For St. Joseph. These are the chances that St. Joseph will need to make use of. Because open play DSB are dominating them as the ball goes out for another corner. That's a short corner taken by CS, SCS. But once again, no problems for DSB. That's a thrown in favor of DSB. Cheap giveaway in the middle of the park from DSB and followed suit by SCS. That's a fine piece of play from DSB as they attack through the right. There's a chance of a cutback there. Goes past his marker and then takes a tame shot at goal there. There were a couple of options on his left if he would have got his eyes up and looked. But all he looked at was the back of the net and finding his name in the newspaper next day. But well, there is nothing wrong with this at this age. Everyone wants a bit of spotlight. Fine piece of skill on the right. Goes past his marker but could, cannot find the right pass there. As we see, the referee showing a yellow card to the DSB defender. Pulled the jersey the St. Joseph attacker as he was about to take a turn. Long free kick, a flick on header as well. Appeals for a penalty. Waved off by the referee. There was nothing in it, to be honest. Look at that control from the left back. He has been the most outstanding player in the game so far, the DSP left back. That guy's a silky left foot. Kind of touches he's making. Keep an eye out on this lad. Cleared away by the DSB defense. Once again, one in the middle of the park by DSB. They have been first to all the second ball so far in the game. And that is why the score line is 1 0. Every time there is a second ball, who has been the first to react? It has been the DSB players. As the referee blows for half time. At the end of the first half, it's DSB 1 and St. Joseph nil. 
Join us back in 15 minutes for the second half. As we have the confirmation of the goal scorer, it's Rajiv who scored the first goal of the game. And what a breathtaking goal that was. At half time, it's 1 DSB Rishikesh, Nelson Joseph.
इसको है ना And we are back live with the second half of the game between Saint Joseph and DSB Rishikesh. At the end of the first half, the score was one nil in favor of DSB Rishikesh. Can Saint Joseph mount a comeback on this one? Because if the first half was anything to go by, it will be really, really, really tough for Saint Joseph to make a comeback because DSB have dominated the entirety of the proceedings so far. As the referee blows his whistle for the start of the second half. For those of you joining us late, it's Saint Joseph in blue and DSP in brown. As the DSP keeper kicks things off. What did the Saint Joseph attacker just do there? He cleared his own ball away, away from his goal. Saint Joseph trying to build an attack from the right hand side. That's a neat turn there as well. Cross coming in the box, but the cross is slightly under hit. That's Saint Joseph once again on the ball, fighting for the ball there. But that's nicely done by DSP defenders. That was a foul on the DSP defender, and the referee does well to spot it. Then Joseph winning the ball in the middle of the park. Going past his man as well, goes past two, but fails to get the ball in the process. Run forward without the ball, cannot be doing that in football at least. DSB on the attack through the center, fine pass as well on the right. That's a scuffed clearance, but the defender eventually recovers. But once again, the upper body strength from the DSB players. DSB running forward with the ball. If only the attacker had intercepted the pass there, as the keeper, as the Saint Joseph keeper, was a little slow in reacting and coming out to collect the ball. If he, if the DSB attack would have intercepted, or the pass would have come in in between the lines, could have made something out of it. That's an easy collection for the Saint Joseph keeper. As he kicks the ball long once again. Possession with Saint Joseph at the moment. It's number seven God on the ball. Tries to find his man on the right, but is unable to do so as the ball is once again intercepted by the DSP defenders. I don't know how many times I've said the exact same statement. That the ball has been intercepted by the DSB Rishikesh defenders, but that is how the game is moved all along. Every time Saint Joseph have had possession of the ball, DSB have been really, really quick in latching on to the proceedings and the possession of the ball. Saint Joseph trying to build an attack from the right hand side, but cannot go past the DSB defender. Although he does get a throw in for his efforts. And Joseph, what was that from jersey number 13? What was that? Was that a shot? Was that a pass? In the meantime, a shot coming in, a powerful shot as well. But that would create no further trouble for the DSP Rishikesh keeper, who, despite having an underwhelming first half, has shown some signs of improvement. DSB running forward with the ball once again. Stopped in the process by St. Joseph. 
and St. Joseph have a free kick in a dangerous position here. And with the kind of butter fingers that the Rishikesh keeper has shown, why not have a go? Just shoot it. Just keep it on target from this distance. And let's see what the keeper can do. He has set up a three-man wall, although now reduced to two. Although this distance for a shot might just be a little too far away. That's what you call the commentator's curse. The St. Joseph player eventually went for a shot. I don't know whether he listened to me or not, but the shot was nowhere close to what he expected. Blazed over the bar. As a defender, substituting or rather on goalkeeping duty, takes a goal kick. Once again, who wins the second ball in the middle of the park? It's DSP Rishikesh. Now switching flanks. And the DSP Rishikesh right back is pretty much as skillful as their left back. Goes past a couple of players, running forward with the ball, cuts back in, finds a pass on the right as well. And that's a fine pass as well. Cut back and just blocked by the defender. Ishan that was. Because if that interception had not come, could have so easily been 2-0 to DSB. As we see a substitution here for DSB. Jersey number 13, Hemant coming on. We'll have to wait to see who he has replaced. Well, it looks like it's Rishabh who has been replaced, but I'm not too sure about that. That's a fine volley, but just goes over the bar. If only he could have kept the volley down. The technique on that one was absolutely astounding. Just when the ball came, he just went with his laces. If only he could have managed to keep the ball down somehow. That is what these kids need to learn to take their game to the next level. Because the journey has just started. Once again, the pass is under hit and Rishikesh have the possession of the ball. And the Rishikesh defenders won the ball there like the Joseph attacker does not exist. I don't know what to say, the Rishikesh players are over hitting passes whereas the St. Joseph players are under hitting them. Like complete contrast both the teams here. But on balance of play, DSB Rishikesh have deserved the lead. They have dominated the game. They have won every second ball there is to win and are rightfully in the lead. Has not been a game where the opposition can say, we have been unlucky. No man, there has been nothing about luck in this game. DSB Rishikesh have played well and are rightfully in the lead. Just look at that, that level of control from these boys. They are so cool, calm and composed on the ball. Once again, under pressure from the St. Joseph player. Just manages to get out of the zone and play it out from the back. That's the commentator's curse. Missed control there on that occasion from DSB. And the free kick in favor of St. Joseph. Once again, these are the kind of chances that can hurt DSB because. In open play, St. Joseph have not been able to rip open the DSB defense. So this is where you can hurt DSB. Just put a proper quality ball in, in between the goalkeeper and the defenders. And we have seen that the DSB keeper has not been at his very best today. Instead of just taking regular catches, he has like opted to punch or just kick the ball away. As a keeper, you need to be using your hands. 
and the keeper once again came out called for it and didn't do anything he has not been good so far as we see a slip there that's another decent opportunity which will arise for saint joseph they will need a proper quality delivery in the box scored up with the free kick goes for goal directly and once again the ball was going off target the keeper puts his arm out when there was no need for to do so and gives a corner to to saint joseph as a keeper you need to know where your lines are you need to know where your post is goal post is and if it's going wide just let it go but these are the times the, these kids will learn that is why reliance is organizing all these tournaments so that the kids can learn if you make a mistake here it might not prove too costly might cost you the game but it will not prove too costly in the long scheme of things so credit to reliance for organizing these tournaments because these are the games where these youngsters will learn so much about the game and learn so much about their own game as we see dsb running forward with the ball it's a fine pass played out as well but the keeper comes out and narrows the angle that will be a throw in for dsb rishikesh or rather a throw in for saint joseph I don't know what that was. Was that a pass? Was that a chip shot? A chip shot from the middle of the park? Maybe not. Maybe he saw that someone would make a run. Let's give him the benefit of doubt on that occasion. It's Raja on the ball. That's a fine pass, but well intercepted by the DSB defender. If not for that interception, he would have been one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. DSB on the ball once again, but that's timidly given away. Not so timidly, one back, just one back. Another fine piece of skill by the full back. The right back and left back of DSB have been ever so good on the ball. It's almost like they are a step above everyone else. The kind of composure they have shown, kind of movement to get forward. That's once again very nicely defended by a DSB centre back. And the Saint Joseph attacker was all alone. He had no option to go. He had no option to pass the ball. Tried to go all alone, and unless you're a Lionel Messi, you cannot do stuff alone in football. You need your teammates. That's a fine pass. Look at that technique. Reminded me of a certain Ahmed Jahu. He drills passes like that. It's a really fine pass. Can they make something out of it? Short come cross, and it's too easy for the keeper. Once again, fine piece of skill to get past his marker. Couple of people in the box, waiting for the right option, but does not find the right pass there. That would be a throw in for DSB. Cheaply given away that time by DSB, but every time they give it back to Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph are like, Saint Joseph are like, I'll return the favor, man. I'll give it straight back to you. No one wants to keep possession of the ball. They're like, no, you go. Then the other one is like, no, you take it. And they have kept exchanging gifts for the entirety of the game so far. Apart from the middle of the park where DSB have been ever so good. And they have been so good on the wings in the second half as we see an example of that. Was it a foul? The assistant referee certainly thinks so. That free kick will almost like be a corner. Similar position, similar distance. 
just a couple of centimeters ahead. Can DSB make it 2 0 and put the game beyond doubt, beyond the reach of St. Joseph? Free kick coming in. Shot coming in from the outside of the box. If only he had managed to keep it on target because the goalkeeper was nowhere in picture there. As Raja assisting his goalkeeper by giving him the ball. The big burly centre back of St. Joseph running forward with the ball, but the position once again one in the middle of the park by DSB. Shot coming in as well, but straight into the arms of the keeper who punts it long, does not get much distance on it though. This time, for once, the second ball has been won by St. Joseph. As they run forward with the ball, but there's a defender on the way through. That's a miscued clearance by the keeper who has been so timid in front of goal. And Joseph ran forward with the ball. That's a miscued clearance. That would be a throw in for St. Joseph. As you see, Vikhyat coming on. Short blocked by the DSB defender as DSB ran forward with the ball here. Goes past a couple of men, but there was no support for him there. Although he did really, really well to go past two men. As the referee does not allow the throwing to be taken so quickly, or rather gives another foul for a false throw in. Generally, don't see that in senior football. I have seen players just throwing the ball like anything, and the referees not doing whistles. But that is good refereeing. If it's a foul throw, it's a foul throw, and you blow the whistle. Seriously, good refereeing today. Apart from that one error where he was not offside, at least in my eyes, I might be wrong here. Yeah? But from my angle, he was not offside, he was in his own half. But apart from that, the referee has been ever so good today. Once again, the left back doing everything in his power to stop the St. Joseph attacker from getting the ball. But the DSB defense is alert. That's a mistake in the middle of the park, giving the ball away to the attacker of St. Joseph, but he takes a team shot. Nowhere close to the target. And once again, <laughs> the DSB keeper is playing with fire there. What if an attacker just comes and just with his feet up, just slides into you. Need not be doing all those. Center back with a fine ball up front. Goes past one man, goes past two, takes a shot as well. But once again, a feeble shot. One back in the final third by St. Joseph. Goes past one man. But cannot find his partner in front of goal. 
they have enjoyed a better second half of St. Joseph. But they will need to do a little more if they are to get back in the game. And probably the head coach will be fine with a draw at this moment. But the way things are going, it looks very, very unlikely that they will make a comeback in this game. But this is football. You never know what might happen when. That's an acrobatic clearance. And if not for that acrobatic clearance, the attacker would have been one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Just as I said, St. Joseph, although they do not look likely that they will get the equalizer, you never know what can happen in a game of football. Football can change in seconds. Leave minutes, it can change in seconds. The referee blows his whistle for a handball by the DSB midfielder. corner for St. Joseph. I've said this all along. Set pieces are the best opportunity for Joseph to get back in the game. They have got the height, they have got the physicality over DSB. These are the chances that they need to make count. As the corner comes in, Decent delivery as well, but easily collected by the keeper. That's a fine challenge, but the referee blows his whistle. Once again, another set piece opportunity for St. Joseph. Will be Tanish who will take that free kick. Tanishq has been the one silver lining in a disappointing performance from St. Joseph today. Can he create some magic to get them back in the game? The two-man wall. Probably not stationed correctly. Tanishq with the free kick. A deep free kick. And way too deep. The ball goes out of play. Need to be putting in better crosses there. Cannot be expecting to get back in the game if you are to put crosses of that quality in the box. More height than distance on that goal kick. St. Joseph come forward with the ball once again. There's an option on the left. Decides to go for a shot. And probably Cristiano Ronaldo will be proud if he takes a shot from that distance and it goes in. So all these young boys need to learn something. That is to play as a team. Find the correct pass. You don't need to do everything on your own. You don't need to have your name on the newspaper next day. What you need to have is your team won, St. Joseph won, rather than I scored. As a chance, that's a fine finish. That's a mighty fine finish from DSB Rishikesh. And with seven minutes to go, it's game over. That's a stunning, stunning finish. No words of praise would be high enough here yeah, for that kind of finish. The keeper did the right thing by coming and closing the angle. But what can you say when the attacker finishes like that? And the ball was not even on the ground. He did a volley finish. That's a stupendous goal. And it has put the game beyond doubt. DSB 2 in St. Joseph, nil, and DSB have deserved it. But what a stunning goal that was. 
we'll wait for the official confirmation as to who scored the goal. But that is probably one of the goals of the tournament. And that player is one to keep an eye out. Because if you can finish like that, anyone would be proud of that finish. Anyone. Anyone in world football. Any striker in world football. Certain Harry Kane or Robert Lewandowski would be proud of that finish. That's how good that was. The keeper coming down to close the angle and he just drops it over the keeper. What a stunning finish that was. And if I am not wrong, a captain leader legend Sunil Chetri scored an exactly similar goal against Kenya in the Intercontinental Cup where he chipped it over the keeper. And the youngster would surely be really proud of that finish. And we are all proud of the youngster for finishing like that. But let's see what St. Joseph have in store for the last five minutes of the game. Can the Nick win back and make the game a little more interesting? Yeah. As we see a throw in for DSB Rishikesh. All DSB there are done as they are often called. And just a bit of showboating from the right back of DSB Rishikesh there. Now give it to the left back. He's equally good. Let him show you some of his skills as he receives the ball. Apart from the skills, this guy has got brains as well. Not trying to showboat in the last five minutes of the game, just giving it back to his central defender. Just keeping possession of the ball as DSB come forward with the ball once again. But this time they are unable to do anything of any magnitude. St. Joseph come forward with the ball. Goes past two players. But he was way too slow in making up his mind as to what needs to be done. Eventually gets the ball back, takes a shot but the shot goes well wide of target. Not troubling the DSB keeper. And if DSB are to take something out of this game, apart from the victory obviously, that would be to improve the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper really needs to catch the football and not kick it away. And he will have to work really hard on the training ground. Because no one is born perfect. Practice makes you perfect. And all these children or all these youngsters need to practice day in, day out in order to improve their game as we enter the final three minutes of the game once again a poor throw and a cheap giveaway by St. Joseph Look at how easy it is for this guy, the right back, to go past three people and find the right pass as well. That's a fine challenge there by Anirud. Another fine piece of skill, but <laughs> he was offside there. St. Joseph went on the long kick, but easily won back by DSB Rishikesh. Look at how calm and composed this guy is on the ball. Two players closing him down. But he moves forward with the ball, picks the right pass as well. But the attacker is offside on that occasion.
What is the keeper doing? He needs to be coming out and collecting the ball quicker there. Yeah. 
DSB running forward with the ball through the right, attacking through the right. That's a fine piece of skill and that's a foul committed. That should be a yellow card for that challenge. Kind of yellow cards, the kind of situations for which the referee has given yellow cards today. That really should have been one as well. And that's a fine cross. But no one at the end of it. Although it is kept in play by a DSB player. There's space there, opening up. Shifts to the right. Cuts it back. Try to not make the play, but the St. Joseph player getting hold of the ball. It was Ashwin who is running forward with the ball. There, there are a lot of expectations from this young lad Ashwin. Let's see if we can get one back for them. And if we could equalize. As the momentum currently is with St. Joseph. And in football, momentum carries quite a lot of importance as Gaurav takes the throw in. But they will, St. Joseph will need to get the bodies in front if they are to get back in the game. If they please. At the moment, it's proving way too easy for DSB Rishikesh. Once again, who is the first to the second ball? It's DSP Rishikesh. Cleared away by the Rishikesh defender. One back by his attacker. If they are quick, this might be a really good chance on the counter. But that was a poor touch. And it goes out for a goal kick. And Joseph need to be quicker here. As we see five minutes of extra time being added. So St. Joseph have five minutes to get back in the game. And to get something out of this game. As they try to build an attack from the right hand side. Goes past his man. Puts in a cross as well. That's a high cross. Not properly cleared away. Shot coming in, but the shot takes a deflection. And eventually cleared away by the Rishikesh defense. But the Rishikesh defenders need to be more alert here. They cannot be going to sleep at such a crucial juncture in the game. You need to be alert. As we see a clearance from the St. Joseph defender. DSB on the ball, trying to build an attack from the left. Goes past a man. That looked like a foul. And the referee blows for full time. At the end of 90 minutes, the score here is 2 to DSB Rishikesh and 1 St. Joseph. DSB Rishikesh dominated the entirety of the game only for 
Saint Joseph to net in a late equalizer. But all that matters at the end of 90 minutes is who won the game. I mean, it's TSP Rishikesh who wins it. It's TSB Rishikesh 2, St. Joseph Convent School 1. And this is your commentator, Devan Sunthalia, signing off. Hope you all had a great time.